Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have something that is really cool to check out. We've got ourselves a brand new Recur release, and as you can see, this is the Recur Encyclopedia do-it-yourself mini scene series. It includes 60 scene pieces for building various scenes, and you can see some images here on the front of uh, actually some of the dinosaur figures that are included in this set. And honestly, Recur has made such a turnaround recently. I've always enjoyed their products, but not everyone was a massive fan of their stuff. However, recently they've just uh, unveiled some really impressive figures on us, and I feel like these as well are probably going to be some of the nicest figures we've seen from Recur. I have seen the images of this again on the listing on Amazon. I actually had seen them prior to that as well. So I'm actually really hyped to get a look at this and see what the newer Recur figures look like. You can see inside there, there's like some sort of a, an interesting creature kind of looking at us. There's also a little keyhole over here. If you kind of look through, it really does have the visual of being an encyclopedia, which is really cool. Here on the back, you kind of have a sneak peek of what is included inside as far as the different figures and everything, and then some information up here. And you can also see there's a dinosaur hand creeping out of the pages, which is actually really cool. Even more interesting about about this is it's actually locked right now you can't get in unless you come over here and you press this button here and then you pull out the key you can see the key here goes into the lock and unlocks the book and we can now open it up to see all the fun stuff inside that's already falling out you've got a whole bunch of stuff here Let's go ahead and actually just dump everything out here on the review station and then take the book out of here. Or I guess I actually should say case. And then if we lower the camera, you can see all of the fun stuff that we have down here. You can also see the packaging that uh, contains some of the stuff. It does say Recur Encyclopedia. You've got images of some of the dinosaurs. You also have some modern day animals and stuff on here, which is really cool. And yes, Recur does make... Uh, modern day animal figures as well. You've on top of all of this got a little booklet here again dinosaur chapter Cretaceous period So that means that's obviously what we are focusing on with this set and as you move through it's actually really cool You know they give you some nice imagery some nice uh, Information on the dinosaurs also kind of a nice little sneak peek I guess of the t-rex that's included in here I think that's the rex and if it is man that is an absolutely gorgeous Tyrannosaurus this also shows us that we've got ourselves a Triceratops, I believe, in this set, as well as a Parasaurolophus, some pretty common species, I would say. A Quetzalcoatlus in here, and again, if that's what the figure looks like, that is absolutely incredible looking. And then we've also got more, as we move through, more really cool images and stuff and uh, more information as you lead through the entire thing. We've also got kind of like a little checklist here. You can see we even have a baby T-Rex in this set as well. And then again, just kind of showing us how you can build some of the pieces and create yourself a very cool diorama and uh, again, nice little booklet to go with this set. But obviously, we've got quite a bit going on here. So I'm going to pop open all of these packages, and then I'll just bring the stuff all back in, and we'll check it out from there. So there we go. We set everything up. And as you can see, you basically have a bunch of small pieces that you can snap together. And you have dark green and light green. So you can have maybe like a more heavily forested area, some lighter kind of mossy kind of areas. There is also obviously quite a few different species of dinosaur as well as a pterosaur included in here you've got a few nests on top of that you also have some rock formations quite a bit of vegetation you have all kinds of trees and stuff you even have the leg of a dinosaur that could be the meal for your t-rex again it's actually really cool definitely a good bit of fun stuff in here and there's a lot of different possibilities as far as what you can you know build with this especially when it comes to the trees alone you can uh you know increase the size decrease the size of the trees build them any which way you want everything almost on here seems interchangeable with everything else which is super super cool and the figures themselves the dinosaurs actually look awesome especially the t-rex i am a massive fan of that t-rex so as always let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look at everything that we have here and we'll check it out from there 
So when you look at the trees, you can see again, the trees actually look really cool. The vegetation that you can put on top does look quite nice. The leaves are sculpted pretty decently. And as you can see, there's a little hole up here on the top. So you can pull this piece off, put a different piece in there. And again, just basically arrange the tree however you want, which definitely helps again when it comes to creating different areas, different scenes, different, you know, uh, dinosaur toy photography or just in general different landscapes for your dinosaurs to inhabit and then as you move down you can see again that the entire trunk of the tree again all of this stuff pops off so if you want to you can pull off the vegetation you can pull that area off right there and as you can see you've got all of these little uh, like pegs to basically reassemble everything and then put it all back together and as you lead down through the course of the tree itself you can see there are numerous different sections which you can use to again build the tree up as high as you want or as low as you want the actual tree itself when it comes to the fine detail is extremely impressive as well again it wouldn't be a, a bad idea to give these guys more of a serious repaint if you choose to you can also see again that we've got other trees and these ones are all pretty much the same thing again they all are pretty much the same style as you can just basically block them up layer them up until you get them higher or lower you also have again all sorts of different areas of vegetation different types of stuff that you can put on them depending again on your preference like we've got this one here that is again a much smaller sort of a uh plant or an early tree I guess kind of growing in and then you've also got the ability to basically just like create some cycads and you can even see that the actual vegetation the leaves on this it's a little bit different than the others so you can switch this out and put it on the tree or keep it on this again you have lots of different possibilities when it comes to this set you've also got a tree stump which is pretty cool again just to add a little extra to the scene and if you really go all out and get like some sand or some dirt or something you can definitely again put together some really cool dioramas with this stuff again yet another tree right there basically what we've already gone over and then you also have some nests and what's cool is you can see that we have the eggs sitting within the nice little earthy area here which is where our nest i guess would be laying you can actually take the eggs out which you can see right there again definitely really fun and you've actually got two of those again when it comes to the eggs and the little nest and then you've also got tons of different rock formations which you can see again it's basically like quite a few sort of rocks stacked on top of each other unfortunately they don't come apart but you have quite a few of those smaller ones like that so as you can see you've got a few of those in here as well and You've even got a few larger ones, again, different shapes and different sizes when it comes to the rock formations, which is very, very cool. And of course, if you actually turn them around, you can see again that they uh, have very impressive fine detail to them, definitely very nicely sculpted. You've also got some smaller stones and stuff that you can use down here, basically, to include wherever you would like, again, in your dioramas and... You've also got some smaller areas of like a, uh, you know, an earthy area here where you can basically put some of those rocks inside to, again, just further your dioramas. We've also got ourselves a dinosaur leg, which you can see again is ripped apart pretty nicely. There's some uh, definitely some gore going on with this, which is actually really cool. I do like that. I just think it's something that was a little unexpected, so it's something really nice little surprise. It's very cool to have something like that, and not, not something you really see too often. And there was also a Triceratops skull in here, or at least the remnants of one, so you can kind of, you know, if you have some earth that you want to put in there, like some sand or some sort of dirt, you can kind of semi-bury it or something. It would look really, really neat. Definitely nicely sculpted as well. And then, of course, we also have this little area here where we've got like a little cactus sticking up and uh, another little area of the earth right here so again you can kind of take this out put other vegetation in it's really up to you definitely interchangeable and on top of everything we've got ourselves some dinosaurs and you can see we've got ourselves a parasaurolophus pretty decently sculpted i feel like the head looks a little off definitely like the eye placement is off a little bit but Overall, it's not too bad. You can see that the beak is sculpted pretty nicely. We can see the nostrils right there, the crest and everything. Also a nice color scheme, I think, for the Parasaurolophus, which is pretty cool. I like the browns and the orange and stuff moving along. Not too flashy, but flashy enough, I would say. 
You can see the head sculpt over here on this side. We've also got a lighter tone for the underside and a nice little design as we move through the course of the figure. Also some decent skin texture. It's kind of fine overall, but it's definitely there. You can see you've got all the muscle definition and everything like you would like to see on a figure like this. And uh, the feet are nicely sculpted. No nail paint or anything, but they are just basically mini figures. So I don't expect, you know, uh, award winning paint jobs, I guess you could say. Decent detail for the underside. You have a nice little curve to the tail as you lead out. So the Parasaurolophus is actually pretty cool looking. And again, these figures are so nice, I wouldn't mind repainting them just to give them more of like a highly detailed paint job because the paint jobs are fairly basic but nice for what they are. And uh, again, definitely a cool figure. Then we have the Quetzalcoatlus. And you can see this one as well is really nicely done. I feel like just looking at how good these figures look just shows you how much promise the upcoming uh, Recur figures have. Like these are probably some of the best I've seen from Recur. You've got a nicely sculpted beak. You can see the nostrils as well on this one. You can also see some nice bluish tones for the head here. You have some very cool orangish tones up there in the crest. As you lead back into the neck, you've got like some yellowish tones there briefly. You also have a lighter tone moving down along the underside. If you get nice and close, you can see that we do have Picno fibers on our Quetzalcoatlus. You can see it up there in the eye area as well. As you continue to lead down, you've got kind Kind of a glossy look for the figure overall, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I don't think it really takes away from the figure or anything. The skin detail is also really nicely done as you move through the course of the figure. I think it all does look really good and uh, again, very highly detailed. The pose looks very familiar to me, though offhand, I'm not exactly remembering what pterosaur I've seen a very similar pose on it, but it does look very, very similar overall. But again, it looks very nice. The coloration looks good. I like the orange as we move through the course of the wings there. You can see more of the picno fibers as you move down through the course of the figure. The underside as well sports some very nice detailing. And again, over here, same deal. Obviously a bit of a different appearance from one side to the other. But it is, again, considering it's a mini figure, like it's really well done in both these sculpt end paint aspect probably one of the best uh, again figures overall that I've seen from Recur up until this point We've also got ourselves a Triceratops, and you can see the Triceratops, again, super highly detailed. When you move through the course of the body, look at how crazy impressive that skin texture and skin detail is. All the small skin wrinkles and folds and stuff throughout. It has a very nice osteoderm-like appearance moving through the body, kind of like some scoots, like rows of scoots also running along the back there. Decent-looking coloration as we have like a nice yellowish tone for the primary body. You've also got some brown spots moving through. You have a lighter tone for the underside as well. And again, look at how good the skin detail looks on the underside of the stomach. Even the undersides of the feet are very nicely sculpted. As you move up here into the face, our Triceratops is sculpted with its mouth in an open position. You can see the horns are uh, painted with a nice glossy dark brown. We also have a darker tone moving over the tip of the beak and the entire underside of the beak here is painted with that dark tone. You can see the nostrils right there. The inside of the mouth sports a nice pinkish tone as well. And if we get nice and close, you can see teeth are actually sculpted out on the inside of the mouth of the Triceratops and everything. We've got the tongue in there. Again, a very nicely sculpted figure overall. Very much so reminds me of the PNSO Triceratops with the articulated jaw. Kind of has a similar look to that, I think. But again, absolutely awesome looking Triceratops. Definitely a big fan of this. Then we've also got ourselves a young T-Rex. Obviously, this is a uh, very young Rex. It kind of has like a little bit, almost looks like it has like some slight feathering to it. Sort of looks like that. Also definitely is a little area of feathering out here on the tip of the tail. It's in kind of a crouching position. You could see some browns there for the feet. A nice yellowish tone for the primary body color. A light tone for the underside. You can see the mouth is sculpted in a closed position. We've got the eye painted with a white and a black pupil. You can see the nostrils and everything. The dinosaur even has lips, which is pretty cool because you don't see the teeth or anything right there, which is a nice touch for the figure as a whole. And uh, again, not really too much going on with this one. Basically just a young Rex kind of crouching, looking up at its mother. But it's decently done. And then, in my opinion, the star of the show would be the adult T-Rex. And 
That is absolutely fantastic looking, if you ask me. Very nice looking fine detail. When you look at the skin texture, that looks extremely, extremely nice. You've got the eye painted with a white, given a black pupil. You have the nostrils again sculpted out. You've also got the teeth there sculpted out and painted on the inside of the mouth. Nice pinkish tone for the inside. And it even has a bit of a glossy look to it in there as well. Again, it's uh, one of those big, beefy, chunky, very impressive looking Tyrannosaurs, I think. I also quite like the like orangish tones on this. Not something I would have expected to work so nicely on a T-Rex, but it really does. There's a very nice striping effect with kind of like a dark purple moving along the course of the back. And that striping effect is really nicely applied. You can see how smooth and naturalistically applied it is overall. And then as you move through the figure, again, look at all the really nice fine detail. Absolutely one of the best sculpted recurve figures I have ever seen. And again, one of the reasons I am so hyped for everything that they are going to be releasing, because if this is just a glimpse of the quality of their newer figures, like, wow, you can see as you move down into the foot sculpt, the foot sculpt looks nice. We've got a very bird-like foot sculpt. You can see that the nails are painted with a darker tone, a little sloppiness for sure when it comes to the nails, but they're not too terrible. That middle nail specifically is definitely a bit sloppy. You can see, though, that the dew claws did get paint, which is nice. Again, if we come over here, you can even see that the fingernails do have paintwork right there. You can see the arms are nice and small and held into the body in a really nice naturalistic way. Very cool pose for the T-Rex as well as it's kind of just walking in and sort of leaning down, which helps it to look nice in a diorama with that baby. You can see the foot sculpt looks really good over here. And again, as you move up through the course of the leg, look at all of the slight skin wrinkles and skin folds and stuff as you move along. The muscle definition and everything is also nicely displayed on the T-Rex. So again, I would actually say that this right here is probably Recur's best figure ever up until this point, or at least when it comes to my personal preference, it's definitely my new favorite when it comes to Recur. This Rex is awesome. Now, as far as a size goes, I'm not going to measure each and every one of these figures. What I will do is measure the Rex because it's the largest of all. So you're looking at about the five and three quarter inch range or about 14 centimeters in length and for a height the tail is definitely the highest point about two and a half inches or six and a half centimeters but i think what would probably work the best in this instance would be a size comparison so let's jump straight to that so there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus robert muldoon and the collect a human being next to our recur dinosaur encyclopedia set and you can see again that the figures are fairly small overall, even though they are incredibly impressive in fine detail for their size, they are definitely in the minifigure size range. Now I don't think we need too many size comparisons this time around, but for another one that I feel like is definitely a must, we have a Mattel Mini and a Captives Mini. So you can see when it comes to like the Triceratops, if we turn it here, you were looking at the Captives Triceratops and the Recur version. They're very similar in size. The Recur version is slightly larger, but very similar in size overall. Same deal here for the Parasaurolophus. You can see if we put the two together, they are extremely similar in size. Very different as far as the poses and stuff go, but very similar in size. So that means that the T-Rex there is just a little bit larger than all of the others. The Quetzalcoatlus here would also be very similar in size to the Captives version, maybe a little bit smaller, but you can very clearly see, I think, that these are all very much so in the minifigure size range. So this Recur Dinosaur Encyclopedia Do-It-Yourself Diorama set is actually really cool and absolutely is one of the best Recur releases I think that we've had overall. Like everything about this really is quite phenomenal. And uh, again, you've got so much that you can do with this set, especially if you're into filming dinosaur toy photography and now having all of these, you know, vegetation, these stone, like these rock formation stones, whatever you want to call them, and all of the other extras, you can mix and match with like the captives minis and the Mattel minis and really, you know, it create a lot of different 
different dioramas that you can use all of this stuff in, especially if you have a nice setup with, like I said, like some sand or like an earthy area where you can kind of plant the vegetation in. I feel like you could really use a lot of this stuff to create some absolutely epic dino toy photography. And the fact that they went all out with this release and again gave you just a ton of different stuff that you can include, like nests and trees and different areas of vegetation and rock formations, a tree stump. You've also got a cactus, a you know, a skull of a Triceratops, the leg of a dinosaur that our T-Rex obviously was feeding on at some point. That just shows you that, again, Recur really did want to give you a great product. And in my opinion, they absolutely have. And the dinosaurs in this set as well are awesome. I would say probably the best dinosaurs and, of course, Pterosaur that we've seen from Recur overall up until this point before the next round of figures release from them, which, again, uh, they look to be easily Recur's best overall. But... You've got five different species here this time. You've got a Triceratops, which is really nicely done. You've got a Parasaurolophus, which looks a little off in certain areas, but overall is a nicely sculpted figure as well. You have a Quetzalcoatlus, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. And then an adult and young Tyrannosaurus Rex. Obviously, they don't size up to each other perfectly unless we're going to consider that young Rex, you know, not a baby baby, a little bit older because he's not too far off, I guess, from being like a juvenile or something. I don't know. He just looks a little bigger than a hatchling to me, but he's also nicely sculpted in the adult Rex is easily my new favorite when it comes to any figure that has ever come from Recur. And that's really saying something because I actually like their figures a lot, but that Rex is just awesome if you ask me. So overall, this is a set that is definitely worth picking up and I will include a link in the description to where you can purchase it right now on Amazon.com. So make sure you check that link. Go grab this set if you'd like to own it and also like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching